In this video, I'll be talking about what you can do to lower your risk of a heart attack. Every day, over 800 people suffer a heart attack in the United States alone. Now, coming down to Africa, the number keeps rising due to the poor healthcare system and the racial history of our people. Actually, there are a lot of things you can do to prevent a heart attack, but let's stick to the five most important ones. As the name implies, the word primordia means existing from the beginning. It involves working to prevent inflammation and endothetical dysfunction from taking place. It prevents the risk factors such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, excessive body weight and cardiovascular events from taking place. So these five lifestyle steps can dramatically reduce your chances of developing a heart attack or a cardiovascular disease. One of the best thing you can do for yourself is to not use tobacco in any form. Tobacco use is a bad habit to break that can slow you down and ultimately shorten your life. One of the biggest ways it does this is by contributing to a heart disease. Now, the nicotine that tobacco products deliver is one of the most addictive substances around. But don't panic, many people have quit smoking. In fact, in the United States, there are more ex-smokers than there are smokers. Losing a few pounds is good for your heart health. Excess weight and an extra large waist size can contribute to a heart attack as well as a host of other problems. The number three thing you want to do to reduce your risk of a heart attack is exercising and involving in a lot of physical activity. Exercising does not only reduce your risk of a heart attack, it also reduces your risk of a host of other problems. It lowers high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes and even stroke. As much as a 30 minutes walk 5 days a week can reduce the risk of a heart attack for most people. Now it's better to get a little physical activity than not to get anyone at all. The best diet for preventing a heart disease is one that is full of fruits and vegetables, grains, dry nuts and even vegetable oil. People with a diet consistent with this very pattern had a 31% lower risk of a heart disease, a 33% lower risk of diabetes and a 20% lower risk of a stroke. Also, don't forget to take as much water as possible, around 2 to 3 liters per day. And if you are doing a strenuous activity, then you want to take more water. The number 14 you are supposed to do to ensure your cardiovascular health is to improve your sleep activity. When you sleep for too short or too long, it is associated with heart disease and can negatively affect other heart related factors like dietary intake, exercise, blood pressure, and inflammation. There are a lot of reasons that cause poor sleep including working overnight shifts, clinical disorders, and poor sleep hygiene. To improve your sleep health, you need to talk to your doctor. You can also try to set up a sleep schedule and try to stick with it. Turn off all electronic devices at least an hour before bed. This is because the light they emit will not help you to sleep at all. The number 5 thing you can do to lower your risk of a heart disease and to me this is one of the most important is managing stress and anger. The truth is everybody has stress and it's normal to get angry every now and then. But when stress and anger flare up, especially if it happens frequently then there's a problem. Managing your stress and handling your anger puts you back in charge. What other way do you use to maintain your heart health? Do well to share with me in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, turn on the notification button so you get to see when we upload videos like this one and many more. My name is Kusi, Kusi Manuel, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.